A Stuart 10H steam engine build. Part 8. Drilling the main bearings to fit them to the engine, not forgetting the oil holes in the centre. Threading the sole plate 7BA to attach the bearings. This is where some jobs can get a bit nerve-wracking. If I make a mess of this, I have to start again, and that would involve buying a new casting from Stuart, shaping it, machining it, drilling it and reaming it, as you've already seen. I've marked one end of each of the main bearings using a felt-tip pen to tell me they're the right way round. So if you're building one of these very small Stuart No. 10 series engines, be very careful, go nice and slowly and think about what you're doing before you do it. The job starts with the marking out procedure. Marking out has never been my strong point. I tend to use what looks right rather than where I've marked out, but that's just me. I don't recommend doing that either. I used a Sharpie felt tip pen instead of marking out blue because it dries quicker. This small machine vise is from the equally small drilling machine that I use in the small workshop. Everything in this episode is a bit on the small side. The first thing I have to do is clamp it in the machine vise because it's easier to work on the part in the machine vise than it is sat on the bench or even sat on the sole plate. It really is quite important that you get the holes in the right place here because if you don't and you decide to go ahead with it and drill through into the sole plate to tap 7BA then it's going to look really bad. The middle line isn't perfect, but at least it is in the middle. All of the lines that you see me making across the bearing are by eye, but I do reference them with a ruler before I actually commit myself to drilling on them. To make sure that the parts are fitted level in the machine vise, I use the method of a steel rule and a hammer. Very simple and very quick. After abusing my steel rule, I'm now using it for what it was designed to do, measuring. I'm marking the position for the centre oil hole. Once again, this is very important. It needs to look right against the other two holes. And here I'm verifying the position of the lines using the steel rule for what it was designed to do. I have a couple of these very small centre drills and neither of them are particularly sharp so I'm not going to push the point by literally pushing the point all the way through the metal. I'm just making a spot to guide the drill. The good thing about centre drills is that if you spot in the wrong place, you can actually move it and re-spot. You can't do this with a normal twist drill because the twist drill will bend. After the spotting comes the drilling. The imperial tapping size for a 7BA thread is a number 46 drill bit or 2.05 millimetres. And to start with, I'm drilling the main bearing holes tapping size, not clearance size for 7BA. This means that when I hold the main bearings in position on top of the sole plate and drill through, the drill bit can't wander, it will be held in position by the existing holes in the main bearings. It makes sense when you think about it. If you drill the hole too big, the drill could wander about and not be in the right place. The center hole is the oil hole. I'm not going to fit oil cups. They're a waste of time on such small engines. I'm using the small center drill to make a countersink in the center hole. This will create an oil reservoir. I ended up doing this manually because the center drill was chattering a bit in the hole. And now I get a perfect finish. One main bearing completed and one yet left to do. I'll run the video to high speed just to get through the job in a reasonable time. Just in case you've forgotten, here on screen is the reason I used tapping size drills for the main bearings. The finished drilled main bearing holes will act as a guide when drilling the cast iron sole plate for tapping 7BA. Doing it this way will ensure that all holes align correctly. Even with my wealth of experience of doing things like this, I was quite glad when this part was over. If you're building one of these engines and make a mess of this part, then it's not the end of the world. You just have to do it again. And looking on the bright side, practice makes perfect. 
I'm quite pleased with the outcome of this job because I didn't really take that much care with it. I am using a 930 seconds of an inch diameter piece of silver steel bar to make sure that everything is square to the sole plate before drilling the holes 7B8 tapping size. Not only does the silver steel bar show me that everything is lined up, it makes it easier to hold the main bearings onto the sole plate in the correct place. Now this bit is scary. If I break off the tap in the hole, what do I do? I would have a real problem. Anyway, I've taken my medication and I'm using a high-speed steel tap, which is always a good idea. High-speed steel taps and dies are more expensive than carbon steel taps and dies, but they are a whole lot better, believe me. The problem is getting a broken tap out of a small hole like this in a piece of cast iron would be very, very difficult, particularly as it's high-speed steel. If I was threading a piece of brass or gun metal and the tap snapped off, then it is possible to remove it using some stuff called alum, which is also known as fatacti powder. I've put the spelling on screen. It will dissolve the steel, but not the brass or gun metal. After tapping the sole plate on the bench to get rid of any swarf from within the holes, and I'm now about to clean up the top surface of the main bearings to remove the scribed lines. The final part of the job is to drill the mounting holes through the main bearings clearance size for 7BA. That's quite easy to figure out if you have a 7BA bolt and a micrometer. You do need a little bit of clearance. You may have to go slightly larger than clearance size just in case the main bearings moved when you were drilling the holes in the cast iron. And now for the final job, remove the burrs using a needle file. These main bearings need to fit perfectly flat on the top of the sole plate. And that is it for this episode. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainstream Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.